subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered what happens with estate sale items that don't sell the last day of the sale? Today on Lady Mary Bath, I'm taking you inside Consignment Collection, where you can get deals on fine furnishings, decor, tabletop, collectibles, and more. I'm also sharing a fabulous find that has been at the top of my wish list for over 30 years. Join me. The consignment collection is a hidden gem in North Houston, located off of FM 1960 West near TC Jester. I've actually been in this building before and I'll tell you more about it. You may recall this Houston FM 1960 location as being McLaren's Antiques. My friend Judy purchased her Italian Worldwood dining furniture in this store. For over 20 years now, the consignment collection brings us treasures from estate sales through their business, Estate Sales of Champions. And they help clients to consign items that are perhaps overlooked and certainly worth a second look. Let's go inside and discover some of these treasures. It's always fun to rediscover a place and I'm absolutely impressed with their prices and variety of items. You could furnish an entire home. There's something for everyone. They even have some contemporary furnishings. And there are many rooms in this building, two floors. You could definitely spend a day and come home with some great things. And we will also see some true antiques. Welcome to Consignment Collection. Over 20,000 square feet of good prices on unique items waiting for their second debut with you. Lots to discover in this case, including a very good price on the Waterford wine goblets and the Kildare pattern at $30 each. This launched in 1974 and retired in 2017. The Royal Dalton Balloon Cellar might be familiar to you. I've seen that in many homes and the highly collectible Yadro figurines. These are made in Spain. You'll notice the monks on the left are a matte finish and the ladies are a high gloss. Vintage bubble glass and the Balik Neptune sugar and creamer in pink and an interesting teacup. I think the flutes can stand alone. They certainly don't have to match a pattern. Place these on a silver tray. It didn't take long for me to find Waterford Crystal. This beautiful Alana goblet is a retired pattern. They are on sale for $30 each, and the retail for Waterford goblets today is about $100. And you certainly don't find the same craftsmanship with Waterford that is no longer made in Ireland. It's a great opportunity to add to your similar pattern or perhaps to start a new one. Hummel figurines are fun to collect. Always look at the back stamp. It can give you a hint at the age. West Germany means that it is made before 1990 when they had the reunification. The colorful balloon seller. That beautiful Royal Dalton back stamp, priced at 110. And this Hummel figurine is a Zwiebelturm, which is something you see in Bavaria, also West Germany from 1979 and there's the chimney sweep and they actually do dress like that. We were required to have a visit twice a year at our home in Germany and it's always fun to see them come by in their gear priced at 75. Schornsteinfeger. The girl with the chicks, that's sweet. Priced at 55. Some nice collectibles as well. Hummel figurines you can find quite affordably on the secondary market. I've shared a lot of the history in a previous segment at High Street Antiques in Dallas. And the Gerbe Manufacturing Company is no longer offering these affordably. Their minimum price point, $100 each. And this is 55. 
The Waterford Santa is well priced at $49.99. Some of these were exclusive to the May Company in Houston. That would have been Foley's department store. And this dates back to the 90s. I do remember when this launched. I worked for Waterford Crystal. And this would be a great addition to your Christmas collection. $85 for the Neptune Pink Creamer and Sugar. There's such detail with this pattern. I especially like those shell feet. And if you're looking to add an interesting teacup to your collection, $44. This one is fantastic. I actually do not have one of these. I imagine it might be difficult to drink out of that. Not sure. And there's that green back stamp, which can give us the date if you compare it to the chart, which you can easily find online. Liz Moore, number one stem pattern in the world across all tabletop. Just love all of these pieces, those silver coasters. And these compote dishes are exquisite. And I love that they have a matching pair. I wasn't able to identify the maker. It looks to be vintage glass. Price at 95 for the pair. It's a very good price. $35 for this five inch Carlo bowl from Waterford Crystal. I remember this from the 90s. They made it in a tall, skinny vase and a larger, deep bowl as well. Perfect for filling with candies or just about anything. Lady figurine, a cruet set. This is exquisite. And the Waterford Clarendon Ruby Sherry Glasses. Those go for a lot on the secondary market. These are retired, 110 for the pair. The size is probably not sought after, but you know, if you're trying to complete a collection, love this. I see lots of great gifts here in this case. If you think about the retail cost, you know you're getting a deal. $39.99 for this Waterford Crystal Creamer and Sugar. And you know, this can be used for so many purposes, for salad dressing, chocolate sauce, this could be for candies, lemons on your table, just about anything. You could break it up or use it together. And for $40, you can certainly get a great gift here compared to retail, this would be closer to 200. And of course the quality is not the same in Waterford today. This tabletop essential reminds me of my time with Waterford Crystal, a very good price on that too. Waterford launched the Lismore Carafe in the mid-90s when I worked for the company. It retailed at $149. This is $75 in perfect condition. This is great for barware, any kind of entertaining, and of course, a great gift. Lots of beautiful glassware. This has a touch of gold. And you know I'm drawn to compotes. I think this one will not last long. It's a great price. This is probably the best gift, $49 for the compote. I've shared many different uses on the channel. You may wanna take a look at a previous segment. And this is a great way to fill it with some handmade chocolates, wrap it in cello, and you've got an amazing gift for $49. This retailed for $149 in the 90s. Next time you're looking for a great gift, think about a consignment store. This Waterford Crystal 12-inch Lismore vase is $140. Anything comparable on the Waterford website is $500 and up. What a great gift. Birds are always fun to add to your side table. These are $20 and they have a group of back stamp and they are Garten Ochwanz, which is a red start. West Germany, again, made before 1990. And you could create a story with this plate and the two porcelain figurines. It's a good price on the plate for $18. This East Lake mirror could command the room. That's probably back when the ladies wore long dresses and they had to have such mirrors for their daily life. That could really open up a room. 595 and that is a true antique look at that detail such an interesting design history which i shared at a visit to team resale in tomball chinoiserie love all the detail here and this was a tv cabinet 
there's so many possibilities. The top is quite interesting too. I wish I had space for this. So I really like this style and the ways we could adapt it for modern use. A great deal here on this chinoiserie cabinet. The estate sale price was originally 1695 and today it's 850 This is made by Drexel, a company that started in 1903 in North Carolina and since the 1950s has taken over the U.S. home furnishings market. And you may think a TV cabinet is rather obsolete, but actually there are many possibilities here. You could use these shelves for essentials for a coffee tea bar. There's an opening in the back, normally for a TV plug, and instead you could put your cords for the electric kettle, coffee pot back there, and everything is neat and tidy. And I think it's the perfect combination of tea and chinoiserie. This would also be ideal as a bar cabinet filled with mid-century highballs, Culver, George Briard, a Howard Miller mantle clock with a modern dial priced at 120. And this French armoire has my attention. There is such detail in the carving and there's also inlaid wood there if you look closely. They don't have built-in closets in Europe. They have today more of a modern wardrobe. I prefer the antiques. This French armoire for 995 is also a great find. Think of the ways you could use this. Place it in a bedroom, living room. There's great storage. It could be a sort of china cabinet and the mirrors visually extend the room. Limoges for under $100. This has a bit of an art deco influence. You'll see the meandering or Greek key design in that gold and black made by Haviland and also hand decorated. And now we're segueing to a French provincial look that was popular in the 1960s. It's a bit bulky. I'm thinking you could revitalize this. $5.99 for the dresser with mirror. And this cabinet is even a better price. You could certainly make that a project piece at 150 for solid wood, I think that's very fair. And you certainly want to frequent consignment collection because their prices are good and they get in new merchandise every week. And you can even find something with a contemporary style. Imagine estate sales, they have everything from modern to traditional to just about anything you could imagine. $2,895 for that table set. An Italian pottery. This is something we haven't talked about much on the channel, but I do get lots of questions on this. So we'll take a look at this today. Lots of details in that beautiful back stamp. The end with the crown is Capote Monte, made in Italy. $17 for this dish. I could even see that on a vanity and this filled with florals would be stunning on a buffet. Marked down to 89. Capota Monte is a distinct style of Italian porcelain or ceramics, traditionally made south of Naples. And you will recognize the flowers and figurines. Lots of fine detail. And when in doubt, turn it over and look for that back stamp. Now for the grand reveal. I am seeing my Waterford Crystal Chandelier for the first time. I actually got an email from EstateSales.net and saw the listing and purchased it for quite a deal. And when I called to inquire about the pickup location, they told me about their store. And then I realized I'd actually been here many years before. And I'm not taking it home today. I'm coming back another day to pack it up. But I just wanted to share this with you. It is a true beauty, and I'll tell you more about it. And I can hardly believe it. The wait is over. I have found my dream chandelier, the Waterford Crystal B9, that was later renamed the Cranmore. As you know, Waterford no longer has a lighting word division. I've been looking for this for over 30 years. And Waterford last had a retail of $6,400, and I acquired this for $995 through Consignment Collections, estate sale listing, 
and that was a deal. The V9 features 68 prisms, nine lights at the end of crystal arms, bobesh, and chains of crystal. Over the years, we've had many Waterford Crystal artisan friends in our home, and one of my very good friends is John Stinson. He was a designer for the company, and we often asked him for his opinion on the perfect chandelier, and his response was B9, and this definitely fits the bill. How many of you had this in your homes? I grew up with something very similar for playing records. You had some great storage underneath, and if you're looking for that mid-century vibe, this would be perfect. Made by Magnavox. Complete with some records too. Priced at $129, the Radio Works record player and Jesus Christ Superstar. Very fitting for the mid-century look. And I especially like these candle holders. And I don't know if you priced brass recently, but it is quite expensive. Even in antique and resale stores, I think that they have excellent prices. Big, bold, and brass. You could create a display with these on an entry table, dining server, even underneath a fireplace. $49 is a great price for this piece. You could even add some garland or candle rings for the season. And these warm tones are perfect for winter and fall. You can't get any more mid-century than this platform sofa with the walnut wood and what looks like formica. These are fantastic. 1,450. And I'll tell you more about the designer and the manufacturer. I can imagine these in a sunken living room. Step into the 1960s with me. These sofas are fantastic. And if you're looking for authentic mid-century, you have found it. These were designed by Adrian Pearsall for Craft Associates. They measure 126 inches in length with built-in end tables made of wood. They have a pair priced at $1,450 each, and I've seen these online for as much as $12,000. Our favorite blue and white. And the flow blue is something that I tend to find more often. You can date a piece by the amount of design on the plate. And the back stamp is Dalton, made in England. And they have some more pieces here too, including one that is very familiar that we've seen at the consignment store in Germany. It is the Zwiebelmuster, the blue onion pattern, $55 each. Let's turn it over. Those two swords mean that it is Meissen Porzellan, made in Germany, near Dresden. And if you happen to be in the market for a new dining table, you have so many options in this store. In fact, I hesitate to go to any retail store for something like this because you're going to pay a lot more. You can see the deals here already. And this has a bit of history with the design. And of course, you could reupholster those seats and make it your own. You could blend better with your colors, your style. You could even modernize that with a different print fabric. If you're in the market for a dining table, you have just found the best deal in town. This Duncan Fife mahogany seats up to 12 and it's got the leaves so that you can actually make the table smaller if needed. Well priced at $2.95 and the chairs are also $295 for all eight. I'll tell you more about Duncan Five. He actually was a person who had great influence in the furniture market. Duncan Five was born in Scotland in 1768. He immigrated with his family to New York State, where he apprenticed with a cabinet maker and later moved to New York City and opened his own furniture making business on Fulton Street where he created fine furnishings for wealthy East Coast clients. And I'll tell you some more about the characteristics of his design. When I was furniture shopping as a young bride in 1995, I went to my local antique store and found a Duncan Fife dining set. There are some characteristics that are common with his designs, including the legs that flare out from the table with brass covered claw feet and neoclassical elements in the chair backs with lutes, harps, and lyres. It is definitely a classic look and something that you could affordably add to your home. 
Fine English bone china always gets my attention. This is an extra special pattern. It is fruity, floral, and fabulous. There are six place settings and a couple of serving pieces. And I like that it has so many different colors. You could go many seasons and directions with your table setting. And that bread and butter is sweet. 350 for the set. I will tell you it is now down to 120 and it's at the front of the shop. This pattern was made from 1950 to 1985. And that green punch bowl would actually blend beautifully with that pattern. For parties, you could use the dessert plates. Priced at $50. Something that I've seen very recently. A Party Perfect Punch Set priced at $50. You may remember this from a previous segment at MAM Resale where they had the complete set. This is made by the Indiana Glass Company in the Harvest Grape pattern. It was originally sold at Woolworth and Kmart for $7.77 for the complete set. And that's a great way to entertain. I like the use of this Asian stand for the punch bowl. That gives me some new ideas. A Victorian kitchen clock was a staple in every home. This one is priced at 140 and they actually have built in timers. That's how they were able to keep track of their items that were baking in the oven. And that's of course, before modern technology. This Old Country Roses pattern is highly collectible. So many folks on our Lady Mary Beth's Table group page on Facebook collect this. And I love seeing their posts and their beautiful table settings. I invite you to join us there. They really do have the unexpected here. $17 for the small square dish. I haven't actually seen that size before. And there's that beautiful back stamp from Royal Albert with a 1962 copyright. This is more of a chintz pattern. I love the square shape. And let's look at that back stamp. It is the chintz collection, very well named. And that's a 1999 copyright, so that is much newer. Let's step back into the Victorian era with some special seating. Many eras are represented here. This Victorian sofa is priced at $299, has a red velvet seating, brocade, and hand carving. And I spy some cut to clear glasses. Let's take a look in this case. The amethyst, emerald, and cobalt. They would all be great additions. I also see some imperial glass and Indiana glass with that amber cake stand. The wines are priced at $40. They do have a nice variety. There's so much to discover in every nook and cranny in this shop. And this definitely has my attention. A large wall tapestry and beautiful furnishings all in one room. I can just see this transported into a home to create a story. $500, that's a very good price. And you cannot imagine the size of this. It would cover the entire wall. And I'm sure that costs a lot more. Remember that these items once filled someone's home. Things that they had carefully collected over the years and focal points and something that created a welcoming space. And this French tapestry, beautifully framed for $500, seems too good to be true. It's absolutely an incredible piece. Complete with a silver tray, which is very fitting with that formal look. You'll notice that inlay on the table. This is a fantastic find, $650. It's mahogany and Henradon. I can hardly believe it. They have a Henradon dining table, well priced at $650. This is the finest name in furniture in the United States, a company founded in 1945 by four men in Morgantown, North Carolina, eager to produce fine quality furniture. And of course, you could add these chairs that are Chinese Chippendale for $399, that is an incredible deal. And here's another look at a dining set with the Asian inspired look. 
and barware. I'm always reminded of my friend Adam with Baker's Barware on Instagram. He has some great posts, amazing barware at Heights Antiques. I encourage you to join him there. A hard to find pattern. Ralph Lauren made a masculine crystal in the 1990s. This is Glenn Plaid, one of their most successful patterns. It was produced by the Nachtmann Company in Germany. They also made for Lennox Gorham, Tiffany, and originally Marquis by Waterford. These go for a lot on the secondary market, as much as 120 at Replacements Limited. A set of eight are priced at 250. This tabletop essential is truly multi-purpose. You could fill that with chips, with candy canes at Christmas, place just about anything inside, including a beautiful floral arrangement. Herringbone was another popular pattern in the Ralph Lauren crystal line. Here is the Glen Plaid ice bucket that continues our barware theme with the highballs priced at $52, which is actually quite a good deal. I think the crystal industry is missing an opportunity. They should revisit a masculine pattern. I wish Ralph Lauren would bring that back. The most expensive items in this line would be the balloon wines. They're quite rare. Beautiful brown transfer wear. This is not a color that you see often anymore. It would be perfect for Thanksgiving. And that is a beautiful scene. Look at all the detail. Of course, it's made in Staffordshire. It's the Tonquin pattern by Clarice Cliff. Now we're going into this back section where we will discover something unique that you could add to a room to give it kind of a facelift. I like that beveled mirror, lots of detail. And these architectural elements are becoming even more collectible. In round top, this would be a lot more than 140. And I've seen these repurposed as well. An antique mantle has so many purposes and it could add some cozy to your home. If you have an existing fireplace, this could be a fireplace surround. You could also place an electric one inside or simply use it as a focal point in your room and maybe even those tall brass candle holders could nestle down underneath, decorate it seasonally. For under $200, this is a unique find. And always look up, you might see some lighting wear that would work well for your space. I'm just glad that I happened to see their listing in estatesales.net. And they frequently will add something from their shop to their online estate sale, $17.95. I much prefer my $995 Waterford Crystal Chandelier. That was a very good price. And this is $80. That's not bad for lighting wear, for a kitchen, above a pool table. This is my mother's beloved Franciscan Ivy pattern. I am reminded of her when I see this. And that works very well with green depression glass. She often added that to her table. She created beautiful settings, made wonderful food. It's a very personal thing when you see a china pattern that reminds you of someone. And this at one time was very expensive on the secondary market. I think prices are getting just a little bit better on this now, perhaps because there is more supply as things are offered and estate sales. The soup terrain is the most coveted piece. My mother paid 1200 at replacements for that and she was on a three year waiting list. Look at all these rooms. There just goes on for miles and anything opalescent stops me in my tracks. This is something that I would see at the Houston Glass Show and I think the price is right, $21 each. I really should have bought these. Anytime you can have a pair that actually balances your table and is a great opportunity to have a great look. A pair of opalescent blue compotes in the Tokyo pattern. This was made by the Jefferson Glass Company that originated in Steubenville, Ohio in 1900. They later moved to West Virginia where they sold many of their molds to the Northwood Glass Company that was famous for developing carnival glass. Northwood was in existence until 1925. Premium drinking glasses are highly collectible, and that means it was given away, a gift with purchase, oftentimes at fast food restaurants. 
I remember in the 70s and early 80s, Taco Bell had Bugs Bunny glasses that they gave away. $20 each is quite the norm. You can find these on eBay. And if it's rare, it goes for even more. A bit of a Japanese influence with these bamboo dishes. Very mid-century, you can tell by the shape. Love that bamboo. And the gold really makes it. Let's look at that back stamp, Noritake, made in Japan. A mantle clock. That's a very stately look. This is a design you see often in resale shops, antique stores, 275. It was probably a family heirloom. We have a similar one that was gifted to us by a friend and it was her Kingston family clock. This is a fabulous find and I can't believe I didn't take this home. So maybe you can go grab that. Any guesses? I think you probably already know. Such a beautiful crystal. A Waterford crystal lamp for $129.99 is definitely a hidden gem. You want to look at the brass base. It is in very good condition. The crystal, absolutely perfect. And you would want to replace the shade anyway because of the age. This is not the original shade. The scale is off. And of course, you want to express your sense of style anyway. So put a creative shade on it and you've got quite a find. And now we are upstairs to discover some seating, bedroom furniture, rugs. This would be nice for an entryway if you have the space. And that's $5.95. Lots of detail there. Think about estate sales. The last day of the sale is usually 50 to 75 off. And in this store, you're getting better prices off of the last day of the sale. And you just never know what you'll find. Could even be party decor. And I see some collections, a tea cart, beautiful ice bucket. We'll have to take a closer look. This could also be a bar cart. And it's a drop leaf table, which extends your serving area. It can be quite practical. This ice bucket caught my attention because at first I thought it could be the Waterford Crystal Millennium Collection, but it is a different pattern. It mimics the health design, if you remember that. This is made in Poland. An instant collection with these blue and white Danish porcelain plates. They are Bing and Grundal. This is a company founded in April of 1853 by Wilhelm Grundal and the brothers Maya and Jakob Hermann Bing, who were art and book dealers. And these are highly collectible today. You will notice a very interesting back stamp. Let's take a look at that. Blue and white is always pleasing. I like these designs. I don't know that I would want an entire collection, but to have one piece, I think could definitely add some interest. And there's that beautiful back stamp, a Christmas tale. And you see the design around the edge on this 1976 plate. Imagine a bracelet maybe made out of this with China Baroque. Could get creative and have a very unique design. That's my birth year. The back stamp always gives us the history of a piece. The three towers you see here are from the coat of arms for the city of Copenhagen, Denmark. And they created annual plates for Mother's Day and Christmas. You could certainly look for your birth year and maybe even for a friend. And that could be a nice decorative element, something personal to add to your decor and seasonal display. This is a Belgian antique cabinet. And I will tell you, they actually put this on their estatesales.net listing, as they sometimes do with a handful of pieces every week. And this price went down even further. You just never know. It's $5.95 here today, but it was a lot more affordable. I'm not sure if it has sold yet. The carving is incredible. And there's great storage here as well. This is something you would find at the flea markets in Germany or the consignment store. But you just never know. People have brought things back from other parts of the world and you're getting a really good deal and you're not paying to ship it. 
another chandelier always look up never know what you'll see that ivory couch was actually really nice my friend looked at that one day more cabinets dining sets even artwork just never know what you'll see and some vintage glass so glad you joined me today for the consignment collection it is truly a treasure trove and I'm thrilled to finally have a Waterford Crystal chandelier. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with consignment shopping.